with me is the editor of the Sunday Times, Mr. Andrew Neal. Can we get one thing straight first? You originally spoke of sources. Is it in fact one source and is that Mr. Shea? There was one main source, it was Mr. Shea, and there were several sources that helped us to corroborate the story, but the most important one by far was him. Why did you say sources at the highest level then, when in fact it's the press secretary? Well, because the press secretary, I mean, in the Daily Express last week, the press secretary was described in block capitals as he is the voice of the Queen that he is one of the top four senior advisers in the palace. Well, there should be no room for confusion then, but the palace are saying that key parts of the feature article were not read over to them, and you're saying they were. Yet we have said right from day one, indeed in the original story that we published, that the whole of the story had been read back to Michael Shea at the palace, read in two separate chunks on the Friday night. We've said that from the start. Now, the palace has never challenged that until this morning. Beforehand, the palace was complaining that we had taken the feature article, which contained all the information, but went too hard on the news story on page one and drawn conclusions they said weren't justified by the feature article. But it's never been said before that we had missed parts out, and this is a new allegation against us, and the palace has changed its ground. We stick to our original claim that we have never varied from, that the whole story was read out. Indeed, the palace helped us to sub the story. They suggested changes we should make. So you're saying that they're lying now? I'm saying that we read out the whole story to the palace. Why didn't you read the front page over to them, which has become very contentious? We had said on the Friday night, after we'd finished the feature story, that we're now going to go ahead and do a page one news story based on that. Can we contact you tomorrow morning? The source said yes. We contacted Michael Shea through the pre palace press office on Saturday morning. He then gave us help with the Saturday angle to the news story. So he was fully aware of what we were putting into but the you story. Didn't read it over to him. We didn't because it wasn't written at that time early in the morning, but it didn't contain any contain any information that hadn't already been read over to him the night before. It had contained Libya, the minor strike, uncaring government and all the rest of it. What we did do though was that we read the story over to Downing Street. We told Downing Street what we were doing. Downing Street then contacted some Sir uh, William Heseltine, the Queen's uh, per personal secretary. So even he, and he confirms this in his letter, he knew on Saturday afternoon what the Sunday Times was attempting to do, and yet nobody from the palace attempted to dissuade us. Thank you very much indeed.